Hello everyone. Welcome to that backyard life. I'm Star and I'm doing my first Dollar Tree haul today. So I'll show you what I got for the garden. Some rain gauges. They pretty much will let me know when the rain barrels are filling up depending on how many inches of rain we got. Some twine that always helps support the tomato plants. Some actual mini trellises for the tomato plants for the pots like that. Definitely some more flower pots. I got some blue and light blue I'll put around the pool this year. Some more um, stackable planters. I had this one over here for the strawberries, but they had a few more. So I did get some different colors. Some more seed, seed starter kits. A few more pairs of gloves and definitely a few more of the flower pot hangers. They just hang on the outside of the, the flower pots. Some more trellis for the larger plants. Some hangers to hang up some pots around the pool deck. Definitely, I always grab a couple of these markers. This will be my first time using the flexible twine, but I think this may come in handy with the green beans. Some different size trays. Some stick it, some more starter cups, and shout out to Mississippi Girl Gardener. This is the um, tray I was talking about. She does um, a lot of gardening. You guys can check out her channel. She does a lot of gardening, the most of her gardening in five gallon buckets, and everything's turning out really well. So we were talking about it in a live earlier today, but. These are at the dollar store and they're on wheels. The five gallon bucket fits right in here perfect so you can roll them around. These plant clips, I think I have enough twine to actually use if I need to support something. These I think I'm gonna to use to organize my seeds and clip some of the, the packages together because I've got a lot going on with the seeds. Some more garden tools here and I've got two things not from the Dollar Tree, from Walmart, I want to show you. This claw cultivator, it looks like you can really grab it easily by the handle and it will help you dig out the weeds, get the weeds all the way to the root to snatch the weeds out. So I got that from Walmart and we have 10 of these, you guys, for like 20 bucks their strawberry trays. The strawberries don't tend to like to be on the dirt. They'll rot really quick. So these are just little trays that go under the plant and around the plant to keep the strawberries away from the dirt. So I'll be doing some strawberries this year in my tower and I'll do some strawberries in the ground that I can keep off the dirt now with those. But this is what I've got going on so far, you guys. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share the video. We're going to keep doing our peek in the greenhouse to see how the seeds are coming along. And I just can't wait till you guys are watching me outside putting these vegetables in the dirt. These are just super cool and they're under 25 bucks. So I'll be doing um, a review on these really soon.